Neutralisation reactions are also very important industrially. Um, gardeners will take advantage of the fact that different types of plants grow either optimally or not at all in certain types of um, soils based on their pH. Uh, so some plants are very sensitive to the, the pH balance and we, you may have also looked at uh, plants like hydrangeas in the past uh, whose flowers uh, can change colour depending on the nature of the pH of the soil. Uh, it's probably important to have a look at one or two examples in a little bit more detail, but for the purpose of this video, just another little list of some of the things that you might look at. Preparation of different types of fabrics, synthetic fabrics uh, involve neutralisation reactions. The preparation of esters, and these are components uh, in foods, food colouring and food flavouring, and also in perfumes and fragrances. Uh, the treatment of wastewater, so um, how water is treated before it reaches our taps, can also involve very important measurements and maintenance of pH balance and also the cleaning of uh, industrial spills. All of these have some component of neutralisation reactions associated with them, and it's probably worth having a look at a couple of examples just so you're able to pull those out if you need to discuss them at any point. And thanks for watching.